Hey, this is Mr. Beckstrom, and today I want to look at a sample problem from section 3.5. This is uh, inequalities involving quadratic functions. And uh, let's go ahead and get right into it, and uh, we'll talk a little bit about it and make sure we can answer these questions here. So it says a ball is thrown up vertically with an initial velocity of 80 feet per second. The distance s in feet of the ball from the ground after t seconds is given by this equation. So s, which is the distance above the ground, is equal to 80 times the number of seconds minus 16 times the number of seconds squared. So if we kind of get an idea of this, we start here at 0. We throw the ball up, and then the ball gets to a, a peak, and then it comes back down. And the distance above the ground is given by s. So, um, let's try to answer these questions here. So the first one says, at what time t will the ball strike the ground? So we want to know uh, when s is equal to zero, because we're going to throw it up, and then we want to know how much time does it take to get back down to zero, because that's when uh, the ball will hit the ground. Notice that we're going to have two solutions to this, because it'll be zero right when we throw it. And it'll also be zero after it hits the ground. So uh, we'll, we'll just use the answer that makes sense in this case. Uh, so if we take a look at the problem here, I'm going to replace s with zero. And I'm going to get is equal to 80 t minus 16 t squared. All right. And uh, at this point here, I can factor out. Looks like I can factor out a t, and I can also factor out a 16. So I'm going to put 16t, and that's going to leave me with 5 minus t. So this is our two solutions that we are, we'll get our two solutions by using uh, these two factors. So first I'm going to let 16t equal to 0. That'll just give me a t equal to 0. But we know that that's the point, the initial point when we're throwing it up because that's the, uh, where we're starting from. So we're looking for this other solution. So if we let uh, 5 minus t equal 0, so uh, 5 minus t equals 0. Well, quickly, by adding t to both sides, we will get t is equal to 5. And that's the one that we want because we know that it's going to be after some amount of positive time that we get back down to 0. So after 5 seconds, this ball will strike the ground. Uh, the next problem here says, for what time t is the ball more than 36 feet above the ground? So at some point, we have a 36 uh, feet for s, and we want to know uh, the two times, the first, uh, the time when it initially hits 36, and then it'll be above it, and then the second time will be when it's passing 36 going down, and we're going to calculate that. And then we're going to use a strict inequality because it says more than, not uh, more than or equal to. So let's go ahead and do the same kind of thing, except this time we're going to let our s equal, oops, not 16, 36. So we're going to let our s equal 36, and we're going to have an equation just like we did before minus 16 t squared so if I move this stuff around so I can set it equal to 0 I'm going to end up getting 16 t squared that's uh, bringing the 16 adding to 16 t squared to both sides uh, it's going to be minus 80 t and it'll end up being plus 36. Oops, 36, and that's going to be equal to 0. So this is uh, the quadratic equation set equal to 0. Uh, looks like I can factor a 4 out of there to make it a little bit easier. So I'll do that. So I'll get 4t squared minus 20. Oh, I forgot the t up here. T plus 9. 
So the fact that we were able to factor the 4 out of it means that both of these quadratics will have the same zeros because we can just set this equal to 0 now. I could use the quadratic formula or I could try to factor this. I'm going to go ahead and factor it in this case. Uh, it, you might have a little bit of trial and error, but uh, if I set this up as 2t and 2t, like this, equal to 0, I'll find that a minus 9 and a minus 1 uh, will give me the desired results for the t term and the constant. Why? Because uh, negative 9 times 2 is negative 18, and negative 1 times 2 is negative 2. Negative 18 plus negative 2 is our negative 20, and negative 9 times negative 1 is our positive 9. If you're having trouble with that, uh, you can put it in your calculator and use the zero function in order to find that, or you can use the quadratic formula. Or if you have a lot of time, you feel really good about it, you could uh, complete the square on that as well. There, there's lots of different ways to do it. Um, so this is going to give me two solutions. Uh, it's going to give me t is equal to, from this one right here, I set that equal to 0. And that's uh, 2t is equal to 9. So t is equal to 9 over 2, which is equal to 4.5 seconds. And then I set this one over here equal to 0, and I'll have t is equal to 1 half, which is equal to 0 0.5 seconds. And then I just set up uh, my uh, inequality. And so t, in order for uh, the ball to be above 36 feet, well, it's got to be less than four and a half seconds but it's also got to be greater than 0.5 seconds or a half a second so this would be my answer for the t is between 0.5 seconds and 4.5 seconds during this interval it is strictly above 36 and if we want to check that we can take any value of t between in this interval plug it in here and we should get an s that is strictly above 36. All right, well, that's it for today. If you have any questions, uh, let me know, and I hope you have a great rest of your week. Thank you.